guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're here with Coach Jess and and today we are going to go over four drills to help make your core nice and strong and become a better fighter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Drill number one is you guys can see we have a couple of weights here with us. Um, Jadley's a little bit smaller, somewhat of a smaller flyer, so we're just going to use like a three pound weight. Um, she can probably handle 5'10", but we're just going to start with three here. If you don't have a weight, you can use a kettleball if you have one at home. Um, some older flyers should be using this. I can show you what it looks like with a kettleball as well. Um, and if you don't have any weights at home, either you can use a ball, or you can use a broom handle, or you can use a water bottle. So here we go. We're gonna start with drill number one, and these are just wrap around. So as you do this, hold on one second, hold it up. Okay, you're gonna start with your weight in one hand, and then you're gonna wrap it around either counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on how you want to. And you should be squeezing your belly button, not moving around. Just move the weight around your belly. We're gonna do 15 on each side. Let's do a couple more, show them. One, two, let's do one more. Three, now go the other way. And one, two, let's do one more. Three, all right. So you're just going to kind of create that resistance and squeezing your belly to create better core strength and stability, okay? So that's drill number one. You should do 15 on each arm and each side. Okay, this is drill number two. These are down, down, up lids, holding a weight and pulling up the whole time. So our flyers at our gym, we like to pull up into a cone. Go ahead, show them what it looks like to do a cone. So we're pulling up, up, up the whole time to maintain stability as well, right? So this is kind of the same idea, pulling up and shifting your weight upward rather than feeling like a dead weight on top of our bases. So Jaylee's gonna hold the weight above her head, holding both sides, okay? Up, pretending like she's almost in a cone. And she's gonna go down, one knee, down both knees. Up, lib, down, down, make a better lib. Better lib, you're behind your booty. Lib, there we go. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. Let's do one more on this leg. Good, now stop, we'll switch legs. There you go. Let's get that lib into a better lib position, oh, please. Nice, yeah. That's okay, go ahead, one more time. Boom, boom, squeeze. All right, so you can see Jaylee's trying to push her leg back behind her booty. Go in better lip position, please. Show me your lip. Reach your lippy. There you go. Much better. That's what we want to strive for, okay? Mm -hmm. Drill number two. And drill number three. We are going to do howl holds. We're going to do it with a weight, okay? We're going to do this for 30 seconds. And you should do this two times for each set that you guys do these skills. Go ahead. Ready? So howl hold. Weight above your head. Squeeze. Squeeze your belly. We're gonna hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Breathe. And you should do it again for 30 more seconds. That's drill number three. And drill number four, we're going to do rock and rolls with the weight in our chest, and we're gonna stand back up to a liberty. So here we go. Rock and roll. Push back. Push your heels. Stand and lift. And down. Let's do one more here. Stand, push up. Oop, roll those angles. All right, guys, that is drill number four. Please let us know how your workout goes. We hope to see you soon. Bye.